Hi everybody, it's Jason here. This video is for our early adopters of our staff laptops. One of the things we talked about with all of you at the time we did the early adoption of the staff laptops was the fact that we would be using the process we went through uh, with all of you, including the slides themselves, to make adjustments before we launched with the rest of our staff district-wide. And we did do that. One of the changes we made that we had not done with, with you and that we assume most of you have not done since then is twofold, and they both relate to the Google Drive in Chrome. So first of all, um, there's two things we want all of you to do, and this video will explain them both to you. One is moving from the old Google Drive to the new Google Drive. And there's two ways to do that. First of all, you'll know if you are in the old Google Drive or the new Google Drive by right here on the left side. If it says shared with me, you are in the old Google Drive. If it says incoming, you are in the new Google Drive. The new Google Drive launched um, last summer, the summer of 2014. And in over the next few weeks here in early January, the new Google Drive will become the default for everyone. So we've been moving people as we've distributed the staff laptops to make sure everybody was on the new Google Drive in advance of that required move from Google. So two ways to move to the new Google Drive. One is if you have this banner at the top of the screen that says try the new drive, you can simply click this take me to the new drive button. The other is under the settings gear if you don't have that banner, you can click on the settings gear over here and you can just click experience the new drive. Either way, it will do the same thing. So I'm going to take this account and move it to the new drive and it's going to think for a moment while I do that. And now we can see that by default, it gives me this little uh, dialog box telling me about welcome to the new drive. I can click next to learn more. In my case, I'm just going to close it. Over here on the left side, under My Drive, it now says Incoming instead of Shared With Me. This means I'm in the new drive. And again, if you've got hundreds or thousands of items in your drive, you probably don't want them all to be picture style. That's real easy to change. We can just change this to the List View. Uh, and if I wanted to change it back to Icon View, I can do that right up here with this little button. Again, underneath my email address, my Google Plus link, that would all be up there. So I'm going to stick with List View. That's one of two things that we didn't do with our early adopters that we do want everybody uh, to have done. The other thing is we want to set up your Chrome, uh, your drive in Chrome for offline access. So even if you're not connected to the internet, within Chrome, you'll be connected uh, to your files locally on your computer. Now, we've actually already set that up in one place on all staff laptops, but that's not directly in Chrome. So to do this, we need each of you to go ahead and while you're in your Google Drive, click on the settings gear over on the right side and choose settings. And now you'll see this dialog box come up. And in this box, all you have to do is check this checkbox next to offline. So it should look just like this. If I uncheck it, it's not syncing. If I check it, it's syncing. So you want to click on settings and then check this checkbox for offline. And once you've done that, you can click done. So we've just done two things. We've updated you to the new Google Drive and we've set up your drive very importantly so it's available for offline access in Chrome. Uh, thanks so much for doing those two steps. If you have questions about that, uh, please don't hesitate to uh, reach out to the Tech Center with either an online help request or a phone call, and we'll uh, remote into your computer and help you get that sorted out. Hope you had a great break. Happy New Year.